Hi guys, and welcome back to another video game with Powers. I'm Jake, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a solo playthrough from the brand new board game, Isle of Trains All Aboard, coming to you from Dronda Games and also Dan Keltner and Seth uh, Jockeys, all right? So Isle of Trains All Aboard is a follow-up, I believe it's a follow-up, to the game Isle of Trains. And so essentially what you're gonna be doing is a card game. I'm gonna be playing cards from my hand, discarding cards from my hand, delivering passengers to different cities, and collecting victory points. And the goal is, again, with any solo mode, the goal is to try and collect as many victory points as possible. So let's go ahead down, let's go ahead and jump down to the table where I got everything set up, ready to go. All right, so we are down here at the table where I have everything set up for a solo playthrough of Isle of the Trains. Uh, what's cool about the solo mode here is they actually have two different solo modes. So they have the uh, generic challenge mode, which is right here, which is the mode I'm going to be playing today. But they also have scenarios. So they have uh, 10 different scenarios available that you can play, and it's just extra challenges like you know, some of them are like build for buildings and they have special rules and things like that. So it just gives you a little bit more flavor and challenge than the generic challenge mode. But again, today we're going to be playing the generic challenge mode, which is going to have a victory point threshold. And hope you guys can see that, uh, that depending on the threshold, I'm going to get something. Now, whether I score zero, one point or 49, at least I'll be able to do something. So you feel like a winner um, either way, okay? Uh, before I start to play through, just wanna let you all guys know the version that you're gonna be looking at today is the Deluxe Edition. Uh, not a whole lot here, but just basically, I do believe uh, in the Deluxe Edition, the Meeples uh, are part of that Deluxe Edition and the screen print on the Meeples are part of that Deluxe Edition as well. Uh, I can't remember if this bag was part of being the Deluxe Edition. And then, of course, the playmat that you see here was an additional add-on um, on top of that as well. So those are kind of all the fancy upgrades you are looking at here. So let's talk about how to play Isle of Trains very quickly. So on your turn, you're going to take up to two actions, all right? You have four possible actions to take from. You have take, build, load, and deliver, all right? Just walking you through them really quickly, take. You can either take one card from the display here. Uh, one card from the top of the deck or you can draw a passenger from the bag if ever you try and draw a passenger and the bag is empty then you will gain one victory point uh, marker there all right build so the next action is going to be the build action so you are allowed to build one card uh, from your hand all right and in order to build cards from your hand you will also be discarding cards from your hand that is the cost of what is on the card so let's take a look at this train card right here. For example, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner here, there is a gold circle with a number. I'm gonna flip it like this, and this says a three. So in order to build this level two engine, I will need to uh, pay three cards from my hand. However, you notice this is a level two engine. So majority of the train cars in this game are level one, level two, or level three. And you are able to upgrade. You can go straight from a level one to a level three, or a level one, two, and three. Whenever you are upgrading your train car from level one to a two or from a two to a three, you only have to pay the difference, okay? So everybody starts out with a level one engine. If I wanted to build this level two engine, I would only need to pay two cards from my hand instead of three, okay? Again, if I wanted to build this building from my hand, I would need to pay six cards, all right? Whenever you are building a train car, okay, you will look in the bottom left-hand corner of that card. So taking the top card uh, from the deck as an example, you'll see that there'll be some red like speedometers or odometers uh, right here in the bottom right-hand corner. This indicates the amount of engine capacity that it costs to essentially pull uh, this cart, okay? So everybody starts out with the engine capacity of four. And so right now I am only allowed to have four of these red odometers. So this takes up two, all right? So that is the requirements there when you are building. Uh, again, if you ever go, you cannot go over this uh, engine capacity, you can discard train cars in order to make room for a new train car. Or if you upgrade, you notice that this gives me six engine capacity now instead of four. So that is the build action, okay? The next thing you can do is load. So you can load a passenger onto your train or you can load a resource. So all the different passengers are, when you get them, you'll just put them in a general pool. 
When you want to load them onto a train, you will just simply take them and put them on the card if they are able to fit. So let's talk about loading resources because some train cars can only hold specific resources. So at the top of every train card, you'll have a number and then an icon. So this is the icon of a person. This means the number is how many people or resources can fit onto that train car, okay? So right now, this engine can hold one person. So I would just simply take the, uh, the passenger and place them on the middle of my card like this. I have now loaded this person. In the solo game, whenever you load a, a person or a resource onto a card, you will also gain the bonus. So for loading a person onto this car, I would gain two cards from the deck or the display, my choice, or one card from the display, one card from the deck, okay? Uh, looking at resources, so you can see this level one box car can hold the box resource, okay? But it can hold the old one. So whenever I load this car with a box resource, I would get to draw four cards. Now, look at how do you know how to get a box resource and things like that. So on the right side of the car here, there's going to be a icon of a symbol. So this is gonna be a coal, you have oil that looks like that, and then the box resource will be something like that. All of your buildings in some uh, engines, I believe, some engines are wild. So I can load this into any cart and it will count as that resource, okay? So if I loaded this into the box cart, I now have one box, all right? So uh, you will simply, if I wanted to load like this card into the box, so I would just simply tuck it under this card. Now this is loaded with one box and I will be able to draw four cards, okay? In the actual version of the game, the two to four player version of the game, the only way you will get this bonus at the top of the card is if another player loads a resource or a passenger onto your card. But in the solo game, you get that bonus uh, for doing that, okay? So that is the load action, loading passengers or resources into cards. The last thing is the deliver action, okay? So when your passengers or resources are loaded, you can deliver them out to the different cities. Uh, delivering passengers, you must deliver them to the city of their respective color. So this is a purple guy, he must be delivered to the cactus mines on these ticket tiles and they fill in from left to right and I gain that bonus. So if I were to deliver them right here, this bonus says plus two cards and plus one L. That means I will get an additional load action, okay? And I would fill that spot up and once all three of those spots get full, then there can be no more purple guys there uh, on the mines. But I believe there's only three of each color to fill these slots, okay? Um, so that is delivering a passenger, okay? Uh, delivering the resources, okay? When you have the uh, requirements to deliver the resources to a city, so for example, like if you take a look at Camp Eagle, the requirement here is two boxes, okay? That's the primary contract. When you have these two boxes, you simply discard those resource cards or the train cards that you made resources. You will pick this card up, you get seven victory points. Now, you can further extend these victory points by coming over here to the right side and completing the secondary contract. So once you get these resources, you can turn those in to complete the secondary resource contract. You'll flip the card over and then turn it to the side of whichever you objected, um, of whatever you objective that you completed. So, you know, if you did the 14 one, you would flip it over to the 21 side. So now this card is worth 21 total victory points. If you did the 10, you would flip it to the 17 side and this card is now worth 17 victory points, all right? You can only hold one uh, city card at a time uh, until you complete the secondary contract. Once you do that of that city, then you can take another one, all right? So that's kind of delivering goods to a city, a passenger, and then the uh, last thing is a special delivery. So uh, you can do a special delivery of passengers or goods and to draw cards from the deck, all right? And so you will just set those passengers are good to the side. And again, the passengers have to match the color of the city. The goods have to match uh, the, the, uh, the good that is on the primary contract. And you will draw two cards for every one passenger or one resource that you are choosing to do a special delivery from. So this is an option to draw a lot of cards at a lot of times, okay? Uh, I think that pretty much is a quick hot flash of how to play the game. There's a couple of things I missed out on, but we will go ahead and do those when we go through. So uh, you will not use the progress track, which is over here. Um, the progress track is used in the uh, two to four player version. So everybody will start with two uh, meeples, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this deck a shuffle. 
and draw uh, five cards from the top of the deck. So in the solo mode, when the deck runs out is when the end of the game occurs, all right? So once I have taken my two actions, at the end of my two actions, what I will do is if I ever have more than five cards in my hand, I will discard down to five. Uh, if I take any cards from the display at this time, I will go ahead and refill them and refill the display and then I will automatically discard the top card from the top of the deck. Now I can pay two victory points to put one card from the discard pile back on top of the deck. All right, so let's take a look at what I got. So I got a level three engine. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, level two tanker. I got a rail yard. I got a level two hopper and a level one tanker. All right. So uh, I got a black and a white passenger, so that's four victory points there. And then Devon City is five cards. Ooh, all right. This is gonna be a interesting hand here. So I think I'm gonna load the uh, white passenger onto my level one engine. So this will allow me to draw two cards. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is take this uh, coach here and then take the top card from the deck, all right? So we got a level three tanker and a coach. All right, something I also forgot to mention, you might see cards that have a person in the top right hand corner. Whenever I build this card, I get to draw one passenger uh, from the back, all right? So that was my first action. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? I got seven cards. I think what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hold, ooh, man, I need to build something here. Uh, I think I'm gonna build this level one coach, all right, which will allow me anytime I load this bad boy up, I get three cards and a victory point. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this, right? So I need to pay one card uh, as a price, and uh, I got a bunch of these tankers. I think I'll go ahead and discard one of these tankers, okay? Uh, for building this card, I get to draw a passenger from the bag, and we got a green passenger. All right, that's what I like to see, okay? So those are both my actions. The first thing I'll do is check my hands. I got five cards in my hand, so I'm good. We need to refill the display, and then we will discard the top card uh, of the deck. Now we're coming back to me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and load the green passenger onto my coach. So this will allow me to draw three cards from the deck and gain me one victory point. All right, so I'm just gonna put that there. Uh, I'm gonna grab this uh, middle station. Uh, and I also forgot to mention this, you're only allowed to build one building um, on your turn. So I loaded that passenger, and I think we're gonna go ahead and deliver this, uh, this passenger to Alpine Lodge, which will secure me uh, four victory points, all right? And those are both of my actions. So again, I'm at three, four, five, six, so I need to discard down. Uh, let's see here, uh, I'm gonna discard this card right here. So I'm at five, I need to refill the display and discard the top card of the deck, okay? I also forgot to mention, whenever I deliver a passenger or complete a primary contract, I can do that at the same time. So if I was trying to complete this primary contract for Alpine Lodge, which is too cold, if I had a white passenger um, ready to go, I could deliver them at the same time for one total action. So I can complete that primary contract and deliver at the same time. All right, so I need to try and get this level three engine out. So I need five, one, two, three, four, okay? Uh, I think what we're gonna do here is uh, deliver my green guy to Flint Beach to give me another four victory points, all right? And then, uh, you know what? I'm gonna load this guy here, giving me three cards and one victory point. All right, so we go in uh, one. So you gotta take these from the top of the deck. Two and three, all right? So those are both my actions. So I need, now I need to discard down to five. And uh, let's see what we got. Grand Central, that's eight victory points. Um, I think I might keep that instead of that. But okay, so I wanna keep this engine. Uh, what card am I looking to get? Uh, I think I might do oil. So I wanna try and keep that oil. Here's another oil to keep. So that's three, that's four. I don't need coal. Uh, and we'll keep this Grand Central Station for five, all right? So getting down to five cards, don't need to refill the display, but we'll discard the top card of the deck, all right? So. 
Here we go. Big turn. Hoping we got a big turn. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver this guy to Devin City to draw five cards here. So we're going to go uh, both these level two engines. One, two, uh, three. We got a four and a five. All right. So I think the first thing I'm going to try and get out is this uh, level three tanker. So that's eight cards right here, all right? Level three tanker, let me make sure I got eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof, now that is a tough, that's a tough ask right there, but you know what? Uh, I think we might, I think we might go with this. So I'm feeling confident, all right? So let's go ahead and build this level eight tanker for my second action. Uh, so I'm gonna have to make a choice here. Uh, so we will go, uh, I'm gonna keep the level three engine, all right? So keep that, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All of these cards in the deck, just like that. So that was my second action delivered and built, okay? Uh, and then now we're gonna go ahead and refill the display and then discard the top card from the deck. All right, so I have this box here. I don't have a box. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and draw, uh, take one passenger from the bag here, which is a turquoise, which has five cards, and then I'm gonna spend my second action and take another passenger uh, from the bag, which is another black passenger, all right? So those are both my actions. We're gonna go ahead and flip over the top card of the deck, don't need to refill, and we're coming back to me, all right? Uh, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and load both these, well, let me see. So I'm gonna load the black passenger here, which is gonna be three cards in a victory point. So that's one. Uh, let's see what I got. I need oil. Uh, so actually we'll go one, two, and three. I'll just take all three of these cards from the display, all right? Then uh, what I want to do is, uh, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. So the second thing I'm gonna do is uh, load the level three tanker here. So I need to have an oil resource, which I do. I'm gonna go ahead and use this caboose here. So whenever I load an oil here, I'll be able to draw three cards and then I get an additional deliver or load action, okay? Whenever um, in the solo mode, if I ever have a plus extra load action, whenever I take that extra load action, I will not get this bonus again because you could just keep uh, chaining it over and over and over again. Now, if I did the deliver, I would still get the deliver bonus like that, but uh, that's what we're gonna do uh, with that tanker there, all right? Uh, so that was a load, so I need to draw three cards uh, from the display here. Uh, well, I need to draw three cards, so we gotta go one, two, and three, and I get my choice to either deliver or do an additional load, uh, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and do an additional load and load this level two. So because I'm doing an additional load because of this power, I do not get the benefit, all right? So that was my first action. Um, I think that was my second action, right? Because my first one was loading him, getting the three cards from the display and the victory point. My second action was loading and then I got that additional load, all right? So that is the end of my turn. I lose track of, of my actions sometimes. If I mess that up, I'm sorry. So we'll go ahead and refill the display here and then uh, discard the top card from the deck. All right. So now what I'm gonna do, my first action is I'm gonna go ahead and deliver, all right? I'm gonna deliver these goods and this passenger to Devon City, okay? So the primary contract here is two oil, which I have, and then I have the black passenger, which will give me four cards, all right? So I'll take Devon City, I get five points over here. I'm just gonna put this over to the side and then I get my choice of four cards, all right? So I think what we're gonna do is take this, uh, we need coal or boxes. Uh, I need, well, it's either or. Coal is probably gonna be the better option. Uh, so I get to take four cards. So we'll go one, two, three, and four, all right? So those, and that was one action I delivered to two spaces, all right? And then the next action I need to do is build something out here. So 
Uh, what do we got? That's two people. Wow, that's actually really good. Uh, how many is that? Four? I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm, then in the last action, I'm going to build this level two coach. All right. So I need to discard four cards from my hand. So that's one. Uh, we don't need boxes. So that's two. I don't need oil for that's three. And then coal and coal. So I need one more. I'll discard a level three engine. All right, for four. So those are four cards. I also get two passengers uh, for building that, which is a purple, black, and I gotta. I have a turquoise. So those are both of my actions. So we'll go ahead and refill the display here and move on to the next turn. All right, interesting, interesting, okay. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and load up the uh, blue, or the turquoise passenger here. So I get three cards and two victory points. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, I can leave those, so we'll just go one, two, and three. All right, so that's three cards. I get two victory points. Let me see, uh, that's one, two, three, four, uh, I would gain one, which is five, turn those in, and then I would gain an additional one. All right, uh, so that was that load action. I can load another one because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could get 10 cards, or what do I have in my hand? Can I upgrade it yet? Uh, so I need five, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I think I'll go ahead and do that. So my next action, I'm going to upgrade my level 1 engine to a level 3 engine, alright? So I would upgrade, I need to discard my level 1 engine, and then I need to do uh, 5 cards. So we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, one of these for 5, alright? So all 5 of those cards, I get to draw a passenger uh, from the bag for upgrading the engine there, and we got another purple guy, alright? Both my actions down. So we'll go ahead and flip the top card over because we don't need to refill and coming back to me, all right? So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and load the purple passenger on this train cart. It can hold up to two passengers. So three cards and two victory points. So we got one, uh, two, and three, all right? So three cards from the deck here and uh, also get two victory points for doing that, all right? So that's one, two. I'm gonna trade in this last one I got over here for a three point. All right, so that was my first action. Uh, my second action, let's see, I got four. Uh, my second action, I think what I'm gonna do is, wow, okay, so that'd be good. That's a good cold spot, but I might, I don't necessarily need that cold spot, actually. Uh, my second action, I'll spend one card and play this hopper right here. So I just need to discard one, and we'll discard that box right there for a build action, okay? So both my actions, we'll go ahead and discard the top card of the deck. My next action here, what I'm gonna do is, uh, we'll go ahead and load one coal into this area right here. So I draw three cards and discard one. So one, uh, two, and three. So I need to discard one of these cards and we'll do the level three engine, all right? That's my first action. My second action is going to be, do I got oil or got another coal? Yes, we do. My second action is I will deliver this uh, purple guy to Cactus Mine, giving me two cards and an additional load action, all right? So I get an additional load action. Remember, when I take this load action, I do not gain any bonuses. Uh, let's go ahead and put this box car underneath my oil slot. Uh, and I do not gain any bonuses for that. All right, so that was my two actions there. Not to refill, discard the top card of the deck. All right, next action here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the purple guy, load him onto that train, three cards and two victory points. So two victory points, three cards. We're going one, two, and three. All right, uh, for my first action, my second action, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, what do I got? Boxes, don't need any of that. Uh, I do need to build another uh, coal car, uh, which actually, you know what? 
uh, might be able to upgrade uh, this, maybe. Um, Ooh, okay, trying to just think what I got. I actually think, you know what? I can actually kill two birds with one stone. Uh, I'm gonna put this uh, level uh, two hopper for my second action. Load my level two hopper here into my tanker. So it's gonna give me three cards and an extra deliver or load action. So I'll go uh, one, two, and three. Okay, so that's three cards. I get the, excuse me. I get the additional load action or deliver action. And you know what? I think I will uh, do my extra load action and just load this tanker up here. And because I loaded it, remember with an additional load action, I don't get that bonus. All right, so those are all my actions. So I need this card down to five. So one, two, three, four, and five. I actually needed, yeah, five. Let me just make sure one, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I don't need to refill the display, discard the top card of the deck. Um, hmm. The next thing we're gonna do is, what do I got? Uh, let's go with loading this person. Well, that's five, yeah. Load the, or not load, I'm sorry, deliver the uh, turquoise person to Billington, draw five cards. So we'll go one, uh, two, three, four, and five, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is build this level two hopper for four, all right? Go ahead and build that level two hopper, make sure I'm still in, so I have eight capacity, that's one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I'm within rights. And I need to discard four cards. So we'll go one, uh, two, uh, three, and a, uh, let's do ooh, uh, four. We'll do four for that, okay? So those are both my actions. I have five cards, don't need to refill the display. Do that for the top of the deck. All right, uh, my first action is gonna be, we're gonna load this level two hopper, which is gonna give me two cards and the additional build action, okay? So uh, we'll go ahead and take the two cards from the top of the deck and I get an additional build action so I can build something here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I only have five. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, really I can build a hopper. I don't have enough for a town hall. Um, time engine. Uh, I'll just build this hopper. So. We'll build the hopper, and I just need to discard a card, so I'll build the level, uh, or discard the level two engine, all right? So that was my first action. All right, my second action is I'm gonna go ahead and deliver and complete my secondary contract. So I need three oil and two coal, all right? So I got three oil here that's being discarded. I got one coal here and another coal here. So that's three oil and two coal, which is gonna net me an additional nine. So this is gonna put me at 14 right here. So I've spent two coal and five oil, all right? So now I'm eligible to deliver and uh, do a new primary contract. So those were, uh, I believe I loaded, got the build action and then delivered, all right? So those are both my actions. We need to discard the top card of the deck, all right? The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and load this guy here onto that card, I get three cards and two victory points. So we're going one, this will be the last turn, two and three. And uh, you know what? We're gonna get three victory points. Uh, I'll just, just take, or two, I'm sorry, two victory points. So we'll take both of those. So that was my first action. And my next action, we're going to, uh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna do, uh, camp in Flint, so that doesn't help me. I'm gonna build this building for six, which is a town hall, all right? That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that's all of those cards right there, all right? Uh, so now I got this town hall built, which I believe, let me double check, is gonna give me two victory points for every passenger that I have loaded uh, in my carts at the end of the game. Let me just double check real quick. For each engine and train car showing a passenger icon in your train, I'll gain two points, all right? So that's pretty good still. 
Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and refill the display. So that is the end of the game. All right, so now basically what's gonna happen is I will count up all my victory points and see what we got. All right, so I'll have to do some math here uh, with what I got. So first we'll count these over here. So this is five, uh, that's three, six, nine, so that's 14. We got 15, 16, 17, 18, all right? So we got 18. Uh, then we got 14 uh, from this city card, so apologize, I'm having to do math here. Uh, so that's 14 plus 18 is 28, uh, 32 uh, for that, so that's 32 right there. Then we're going to count up all the on my train cards, so 32 uh, plus 4 is 36, 1, 37, 8 is 45. Uh, 46, 47, 2, 48, 49, uh, that's going to be 54, and then 55 and 56, okay? I also get one additional victory point for each passenger that is loaded at the end of the game. Let me double check that as well. Uh, loaded cargo passengers are one, so that's 58, 59, 60, I believe, and then two victory points for every car, so 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, so I'm at 68 if I did my math right. Uh, I'm not gonna count. I'm not gonna count all that over again. So that is 68 total victory points uh, that I scored, which uh, would be here on this. So I'm 60 to 69. I'm considered an engineer. All right, guys. Well, look, that is a solo playthrough of Isle of Trains All Aboard. Uh, I am actually enjoying this game a whole lot. It's a unique theme. Um, I love the way of like building out your trains and like you just using the different cards and it really tasks you for card management and, and, and uh, hand management, but then being able to deliver the little meeples all around. And like, I'm, I really like the two player version or like the two to four player version where you can load passengers and trains on other people's cards to get at bonuses, but also you're helping them out at the same time. So it's like a risk reward uh, type of thing. But that is a solo playthrough of Isle of Trains All Aboard. Again, game comes to you from Dronda, Dronda Games and uh, Dan Keltner and Seth uh, Jockeys. All right, guys, as always, please go ahead and drop a like on this video if you enjoyed this. And as always, if you are not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Bye.